Tonight, I mean, uh, I got to think a little bittersweet, right? I mean, you just had a great win, but is it, uh, would you rather be fighting than being a fan tonight? Uh, you know, I haven't even thought about that. I am happy to be a fan. I'm, I enjoy uh, coming to the arena, doing, doing press stuff and media, and then just sitting down and enjoying the fights as a fan. I don't have, we don't have anyone from um, our gym fighting tonight, so I'm not like, emotionally too. I mean, there are Long Island guys fighting that I'm for, but uh, to just be chilling and having a good time is awesome. It seems like all the New York guys always want to fight on the New York cars. Now that's like every, you know, three times a year or whatever. How do you look at it? I mean, so you're saying, would you rather, you know, not fight on the New York cars and be able to just hang out, or, or do you want to be featured on some of these? No, I think, yeah, I, I would, my dream is to headline National College. You know? That's something that I just would love to do. Madison Square Garden, Barclays Center, even some of the upstate shows. I think, uh, yeah, I, I think that New York is a huge market. I don't think that New York, there's so much going on in New York. People are so busy. Um, to really get into MMA, I think it's going to take some real New Yorkers to fight here and, and get some big wins and really uh, drive it home in, in this state. Give us the update, man. What have you been up to since, since the big win? I have been... I was a little banged up, nothing crazy, just a little nicks, bumps and bruises here. I went out to the uh, Performance Institute and I did some physical therapy stuff there. Did some testing uh, on my body, on my VO2 mat. They do a whole bunch of stuff at the, at the, at the Performance Institute. So uh, they got all the results. They relayed them back to my guys at the Sports Science Lab in Staten Island. And um, starting to work, back, back in the gym, training hard. And got, I enjoyed the holidays. I got, you know, you gain weight after a fight, and then you gain weight during the holidays. So I put on a few, put on a few pounds. And now I'm just working to uh, you know, get back in fight shape. People are going to want big fights for you, man. After that last result, there's no question about it. Give us the the idea. What's what's the goal? What's the plan? I mean, have you picked a date? You got a matchup? Give, give us an idea. What you think makes sense for you next? Look, at, I'm, the way things are looking, I'm guessing it's going to be April, maybe early May. Um, I want to fight anybody ranked above me. I want to fight Tony Ferguson. I want to fight Conor McGregor. I want to fight uh, Dustin Poirier. And a win over either of those guys will get me that rematch against Khabib, which is something that I want to do this year. And have a full training camp, really be prepared. And I know that's a fight that uh, will be a lot different. The second time around. Do you feel like I, don't, I saw Dustin Poirier come out and say, "Hey, man, I, I think Tony Ferguson is next." You know, I respect. I mean, do you feel that way? Do you feel like he's he, he deserves that fight next? Yeah, I think he's he's put together a string of wins in this crazy division of lightweights. That's you know, it's remarkable. So he, you know, as much as I, I don't know, can't stand the guy, I think that he has. You know, I can respect that he. No, he's a tough competitor, and he's uh, definitely earned that. So this personality that you don't like, or what, what, what is it? He's just a weird dude, man. I don't know. He tried it. He, he's just weird. I don't know. You've been, uh, you've been going back and forth with Connor on Twitter. Is that? Do you think that fight is possibly next, or are you just open to anything? No, I think it's definitely possible. I think that we both have a common opponent um, against Khabib. Came back. I want won a fight against Kevin Lee. Who's, you know, he was right up there. He was a win over me, and he's looking at a title shot. You know, so uh, I'm right there. I'm right there. Uh, that win put me up there. We got to. I think the counter fight. That's the fight. I think that that should be made, and the winner of that gets, gets a rematch. Um, I think him getting a rematch off the bat because you know money talks, but let's be serious. Nothing he did that night warrants a rematch. Um, so I'm, I'm hoping Tony gets, you know, every, everything with the Nevada State Athletic Commission goes well. Tony gets that fight, and then the rest of the division will work itself out to see who gets the next shot. There's this idea that fighting Connor is almost as good as a title shot because of the money that and attention that comes with it. Do you feel like that, or do you just focus on the title and it's whoever gets you there? Yeah, to me, I don't know. I think, I don't really. Everyone keeps talking about it's like the money fight, the money. I don't even know if it's, I'm not, it's like the last thing I'm thinking about. I'm thinking about 
so so much. There's so much else. It's so, it would be such a great fight. It'd be it'd be fun. I would enjoy the lead up to that fight, and, and you know, seeing how that goes. I think that'd be it'd be fun. It's something that I always want. You know, he's like such a pop, popular. Everyone knows who Conor McGregor is. And, you know, a couple of years from now, I want to be able to say that I fought him and I got a win over him. That's that's something that. I fought a bunch of tough guys in this division. Pro guys tougher, so you know they, he's the he's the name, and I think that's that's something that, that's big. How do you rate his skills? Uh, oh, his, yeah, his skills are great. So, mental warfare, getting in, getting up, leading up to the fight is you know he's the best at it right now. Um, and then he goes in there and he's dangerous. He's got he's got he's a great bully. He's, he walks across the cage. And, just gets right after it, you know, but uh, a little bit further down the line, a little bit of um, a little bit of resistance, and it, you can see the change just the, on the looks of his face. You can see it the, the moment that the momentum switches in a Conor McGregor fight, and you know, I visualize myself fighting Tony Ferguson. I visualize myself. Fighting Dustin, I visualize myself fighting Connor, and that's when I visualize it. That's what I see. I see him coming across, all cocky, coming after me with, you know, he's throwing his shot, and then, you know, he starts not looking like Conor McGregor, just like Kevin Lee didn't look like Kevin Lee, just like Khabib didn't look like Khabib, just like uh, Gamebred Masvidal didn't look like Masvidal. Conor McGregor is not going to look like himself, and. You're gonna see that switch in his face when he realizes he's in there with a, a bad motherfucker and somebody that he's gonna to have to kill to get out of there. And I don't think he's willing to die. You know, he's got a lot of money. He's got a lot of uh, he's got a lot of other things going on. And to, to put it all on the line in a cage when you got all that stuff. Now I look up to him. I look up to him for what he's done. But I've got something that he doesn't have, and no money can buy that. No, just can't. He'll never have it. And I really just hope. Know, I hope I get that fight because I know I know what I can do against that against an opponent like that. It would be I think very similar to, to the Kevin Lee fight in a lot of ways. So you, have you heard Justin Gaethje's comments about you recently? Yeah, Justin Gaethje's he's funny. He's uh, we we were supposed to fight and um, yeah he actually chose to fight James Vick over fighting me and he told me to worry about my own shit. You know, he, he's, I think. Handle your shit is what he said to me. So I said, all right, uh, you know, you can fight Vic and I'll fight somebody else. And now I'm handling my shit, so he can go handle his. Why do you think it would go different against Habib? Is it just the fact that obviously you didn't get to prep for it? I mean, is that the the, the game plan or the or the, or the practice leading up to it be different? Yeah, I mean, I was training to fight somebody totally different in a three round fight. It could could go the same way. Who knows? But I I think that. You know, maybe my performance in that didn't warrant it, but the performance against Kevin Lee does, and whoever I fight next will. And uh, you know, I've, I've been putting in a lot of work, and I've, I've even since that fight, I've gotten way, so much better. There's stuff that I I see in that fight that I could have done back then that I didn't do, and now I see stuff that I didn't. I've learned since then. There's stuff that I can do that I didn't even know back then. So I'm just evolving. Uh, my training is going great. I'm feeling healthy. I'm feeling good. So I'm just um, I'm in a great spot. I'm enjoying this whole thing. You mentioned the mental warfare before with Connor. We've seen guys try to ignore him and downplay. We've seen guys try to go back at him. What would, what would your approach be? I don't know. I just I just take it as it comes. I guess I. You know, Kevin Lee tried to play a little mental warfare, I guess, if you even want to call it that. And uh, I really think that it helped me. I, I, I think it hurt him. He was trying too hard. You know, I don't think, I think he realized that it wasn't going to bother me. And when he realized that it wasn't going to bother me, and then we got in the fight, he was like, oh, you know, all that crap that I talked really isn't helping me right now. Uh, I think it helped me to, to really break him down mentally and physically. UFC introduced new championship belts yesterday. What are your thoughts on it? Usually I don't like change. I'm like not a big... When change happens, I'm not a fan of it. But this the belt, I think it looks pretty cool. I think it's a new... It 
it, it kind of looks, it, it has like an ESPN kind of feel. I think that it definitely is, uh, no, I like it. I'm looking forward to getting one of those wrapped around my waist. <laughs> I looked at it and I was like, I like that. That looks good. Awesome. Thanks, Al. Appreciate Thanks, it. Al. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it.